so many expectations coming into this year. Mm -hmm. You've got Zach Line back, two-time conference rushing champion. Now you've got a very high-profile quarterback. What are your expectations for this offense in 2012? Uh, really, uh, this offense can be a uh, number one offense in the nation uh, this year with the tools we have at four receivers and uh, two in the backfield and Garrett and uh, Zach. Uh, sky's the limit. What's your early impression of Garrett? I know you ran with him, ran for him over the summer, mm -hmm. but as he's starting to pick up the offense and get used to you and all the other receivers, what are your early impressions of how uh, he, the offense might operate under his guidance? Yeah, he's really he's really a leader. He's a, a vocal leader. He, he always encourages the receivers, encourages the O-line and running back, so he's really stepping into that leadership role really quickly. In the past, you've been out here with guys like Emmanuel Sanders and Aldrick Robinson and Cole Beasley. Now, statistically at least, you're the lead guy coming back. Mm -hmm. How does that change your approach going into the season when you know that past defenses are going to be looking for number three first? Uh, well, uh, I just really have to put the work out, put the work, put the work in right now in the uh, off season. Uh, in this fall camp, we've been working over the summer, and I know my other four receive, other three receivers, if they want to double team me, that it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> So who, who benefits more? Does Zach benefit because now you've got a quarterback who can get it downfield more, or do you guys benefit because they got to worry about Zach in the running game? I say both. Uh, really, in a lose-lose situation, we have a, a monster back in the backfield who can put up great numbers every game. And uh, Gary, he can, he can stretch the field vertically, stretch the defense, so it's really, it's really going to be a tough offense. You're playing under a new receivers coach, Jason Phillips. Mm -hmm. What's he like either in the meeting room or out on the practice field? How would you describe his teaching style? Uh, he demands perfection. I like, he, he, he's never satisfied with anything you do. Even though you do good, he always critiques you and tell you what you could have did better on that play, even if you made a good play. Does he keep telling you about back when he played, how he did it? Yeah, he always, he always reflects back on what he did back then. So, I mean, it's very helpful. He got to the league, so whatever he did, it must have worked. You mentioned the other three receivers who are out there with you. Mm -hmm. Let's do a little thumbnail sketch of these guys. When Derek Thompson got in the lineup, everybody knew he was fast, mm -hmm. but he got a lot of praise from the coaches toward the end of the year. How has he changed the most in the last year? Uh, he's really got a lot more confident in his game. He's really uh, sharp in his run route running. He's confident going up and getting the ball, so I really like to see the improvement. Keenan Holman battled nagging injuries all year last mm -hmm. year. When he's healthy, what kind of receiver can he be for this offense? Oh, he, he stretches the field, too. He's, he's a speed demon also, and uh, he has great hands, so that's another vertical threat. And then this offense traditionally has always gotten a lot of passes to the slot receivers. Mm -hmm. Jeremy Johnson sort of came on last year when he scored that game winner at TCU, mm -hmm. but now it's you and Jeremy in the slots. He's no longer a quarterback trying to play yeah. receiver. How complete a receiver is he now, and what kind of impact or what kind of season can he have? Uh, he can have a great season. Uh, he's been working it real hard throughout the summer, through this offseason. He's been putting it in the work through this camp so far, so he should be. He should turn out really good. And it should should really help, help all the receivers. He, he's going to be a good inside receiver. You got a lot of young backups who were around last year who are back, and then obviously over the summer you got to know the new freshman a little bit. Of the of the other guys, you got 20 something receivers on this roster now. Of the other guys, who's impressed you? Of the young guys who are going to try to take on a bigger role in the years going forward? Uh, Kyle Gein. He's a uh, he's really stepped up. He, he makes plays all the time. He's he's more confident in his game. He came off an ACL injury and he had started losing his, losing his confidence because that was his second one, but. We just kept encouraging him, and he, he's coming along now. When you were a freshman, Emmanuel Sanders pointed at you and said that you were going to end up breaking all his records. Mm -hmm. Do you think about that kind of thing? And if you could break one, what would be the most important one to you? Uh, I don't necessarily think about it. Just if I work out hard out here, that will take care of itself. But if I was to have one goal, there would probably be uh, career yardage. I want the career yardage. And is that in reach? It's pretty far, but I think it's attainable. I think it's it's very, very, it's gonna be hard, but set my goals high and I should be okay.